How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy OB Wit with Wit Television. How y'all doing this morning, this evening, this afternoon, wherever time it is, and day, wherever y'all at? How are y'all doing? I know it's been a while, and I apologize. I know this, this video is super late, but I started back going to work. I know it sucks for everyone. <laughs> But I'm getting back on my schedule. I'm gonna try to drop everything. I'm trying to do it on Sundays um, now, just to get you know, stay ahead of the game. I know I gotta do a double header, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna get straight into it. Um, we had um, a lot of people say that game we had last week um, against the Chargers. Uh, they wasn't impressed by it, but at the same time, we gotta realize this is the National NFL. Everybody made a 53-man roster for a reason, and the Chargers played a hell of a game. You know, they they, they went up there, they had a chip on their shoulders, they had to prove something. And, hey, once they made that second-half adjustment, they didn't score anymore. So, that being said, uh, we had two of the most electrifying running backs in the backfield. we got to find a new name for them. <laughs> you know, uh, Christian McCaffrey and Elijah Mitchell. This is going to be one of the best duels in NFL history. I'm letting y'all know that right now. Once the chemistry get kicked in, we have the best NFL duel in NFL history. Right now, we got the most talented team. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, a lot of people say the question marks on Jimmy G. Jimmy G is actually playing good, in a sense. He's more like Tony Romo. I ain't going to say Tony Romo. But a lot of people don't realize how, what kind of numbers Tony Romo had. But he didn't get a ring. So it's like, you know, you really got to look at that from stats perspective. Don't look at the film. I mean, the film do show some ugly plays. They show some good plays. But the numbers don't lie. Jimmy's a winner. We know that. We all know that. Um, next up, these two guys right here. Gibson and Humfunga. They playing lights out. And it's no shot to Jimmy Ward. But it's like, you can't force somebody to be... You know, this be existence. Existence. Look, look, I'm messing all up. Existence. However you say it. <laughs> exist. There you go. You can't make somebody exist in this defense. And put him in a nickel. You know, I, I can't. He, 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 that's the original spot, but it's like, you know, people faster now. And I, I love having uh, Diamador Lenore in that, in, that, in, that, in that slot. Nickel. But. The defense is playing great. The offense is still trying to figure, well, trying to get the identity back. You know, because I'm pretty sure it was more built around Trey, but now that you know that crumbled all season long, you know, you just gotta re, re identify yourself. And I think we're gonna get into it the second half of the season. Um, we gotta play the Cardinals Monday on Monday night in Mexico, and they still dealing with injuries as well. You know, Kyler Murray may not play. Uh, D Hop may not play. They, they two key players may not play. So it's like you know, you still can't go in there assuming they're gonna lay down, kind of like what we did with the Chargers. We had to go in there, hit them in the mouth early. And I know I say that in all my videos. That's the first thing you gotta do: hit them in the mouth. Let them know where you're coming from. So we gotta be able to go ahead and. The biggest thing I feel like we need to go ahead into this Cardinals game. This is our opportunity to establish and understand what kind of run game we need. We got two-headed monster, really three-headed monster in the backfield, if you include Debo. And we gotta find a way to get Kittle going and also get Debo going. Brandon Ayuk and Jawan Jennings are doing fabulous. Um, I mean, you gotta give, keep giving to the high hand, but we gotta finally get, we, get, we gotta get Debo involved more. Um, I'm thinking people gonna start feeling like okay they 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 are not really afraid of Debo because he ain't doing that anymore. We gotta get him going. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, that was only his second game or third game. It's only the third game. Um, we gotta get him. We gotta get him going early. Elijah Mitchell, Elijah Mitchell gonna be Elijah Mitchell. He back healthy, fresh, so he's good. So um, once we get everybody rolling. And get them going, get Jimmy G comfortable, get Jimmy G with that, that run game first, you know, because a lot of teams start baiting on the run, then we can start doing our boots, play actions, and all that. Until then, we gotta we gotta establish that. We have to establish the run first. That's who that's who we are. That's who we identify ourselves as. 
a running team. Uh, we gotta establish that. Like I said, we gotta get George Kittle going. For some reason, <laughs> in order for that offense to wake up, we gotta get Jimmy. I mean, Kittle the ball. And for some reason, we gotta get him the ball, <laughs> and then the team just lights up. So once we get all these teams, once we get all that together, man, it's, it's, it'll be unstoppable. Like I said, the defense is playing great. Um, me personally, I still go pick up another corner, another veteran corner, just for mentor purposes, like a Josh Norman, or uh, shit, I can take a Richard Sherman right now, just just for just for mentor purposes. This is this is this is keep the young guys understand like this is what this this is that this is that, because I know you, you can't put everything on Ward, you know, make him. Hey, this you gotta do all that, but you gotta focus on being the number one corner right now. That's a, that's a, he's playing great. So we gotta we gotta we gotta pick up. We gotta get another piece. That's all I feel. That's all. Don't hate me. That's, that's another piece. Greenlaw. This is a game that I, I want you to go in there. You want to kill everybody, just like Ward said. You just want to knock everybody's heads off. It gotta be. Even though that hit they injected him on, I don't think it was a injection purpose. Just like right now, you got hit the same way. But I, I feel like Greenlaw, calm it down a little bit. <laughs> you can hit them, but calm it down a little bit. Cause them penalties ain't worth it. Them penalties not worth it at all. The Yamador, get your head around. And as the jump ball, you see that that, that that receiver head go back. You turn your head. Fight for the ball. Stay away from them passing interferences. Stay away from them um, necessary references. Stay away from all that. Clean all that up. Offensive line, you're doing great. Um, like I said, this op- this game is an opportunity to work on your game. And I'm, I'm not saying lay down and you think you think the Cardinals are gonna lay down, they not. But this is an opportunity to work on some things. I mean, be playing a beat up, uh, dismantle Cardinals. Like their head's not even in the game right now. So we continue to shine against them. We go on this road. We gotta, we gotta stay ahead. We gotta stay up. So you know, we chasing Seattle Seahawks right now. They playing good. It was unexpected, but at the same time, we gotta win the West. We have to win it. We have to win the West. Get in these playoffs and change the game. In my eyes, we the best team in the NFC. I know Eagles eight one. I know Vikings were eight one, seven one, whatever eight one. But I think we're the better team. And we're going to prove it for the rest of the second half of the season. So right now, we're going to take it one step at a time, one game at a time. We want to know after the bye week. So we're going to continue the road. We're going to get prepared for Monday, see, go out there and ball out. That's the only thing we can do. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. And, and like I said, I want to appreciate everybody that stick around because I know I don't drop videos every day or on time most of the time but the people that stick around i do appreciate you guys um like i said i'm trying to i'm trying to get better at doing these videos and sticking to it but you know you don't have time get <laughs> you get home next thing you know it's, it's time to go to bed so i figure if i do either do it first thing in the morning or as soon as i get out of work <laughs> so but yeah man like i said i appreciate doing these videos and um I ain't going to take this whole time just, But I had to take this whole time Just show my appreciation to you guys To my new subscribers, my old subscribers, my faithful subscribers Man, I really appreciate you guys, you understand um, It's been a journey though, you know Sometimes you're like, man, do the video Sometimes like, man, I can't do the video But you got, you got to stay focused this, I'm feeling like the 49ers right now <laughs> I'm in a, I'm in a, either I win it or I lose it So right now, I'm, I'm playing like the 49ers I'm going to go hard in the paint do what I gotta do. Point blank period. So, with that being said, man, make sure y'all stay tuned for more to come. Cause I really feel strong about this team. Even though, you know, we took the biggest hit first half, because you know, you hit the injury injury bug gonna hit you. But we kinda slowly getting everybody back now. Uh Sosa gonna be back. Um I didn't realize how big of a fact that the uh, Armstead played. I really miss him now. Ken Law, he, he's still rehabbing, so he ain't make the flight. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we may get uh, Armstead back in the next game or two. So, 
appreciate you guys. I'm not gonna stick around. I'm not gonna talk to them, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate your like, subscribe, and comment. Come on, with TV out. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know.